Hey! Wolf gang dying, never lagging. 2K bills to the fraction. Breaking it down to the pound, plus news and views on tips to get you cracking. It don't stop till we on top, boy. Brick by brick, we got a bill. Give a like and drop us up. This Wolf gang dying, you know it's real. Never chill. No. Sauce it up, we stacking, getting bills. Keep the traction, getting badges. 2K champ, this how it feels. This the dawn, yeah. Running it up, no time to play. You know what's on, yeah. The greatest builds inside 2K. All right, man, first things first, we're going to knock out this glitch. We're making a 6-7 point guard glitch, so first thing you gotta do, you have to make sure that your units of measurement are already in metric. Hand this is up to you, jersey number is up to you. All right, let's get started, man. So first things first, the height is at 1.77, 66 kilograms for the weight, and then we're gonna go with a 1.78 meter wingspan. The body shape is completely up to you, but I'm gonna just leave that right there for now now all you want to do when you get to this screen you want to just go ahead and max out the build this is no different than any other glitch build just go ahead and max it out these stats do not matter at all go ahead and get in there pick two takeovers just real fast pick two we're gonna go ahead and get the build name and as soon as that edit build button pops up we're gonna use that to get back out to the main menu bam hit edit build hit circle a few times go ahead and get out to that main menu features and you got to go to settings we're going to scroll down to units of measurement you're going to take that into imperial get right back into that builder find that same build file that you were using and we're going to go in here and just take the build up to six seven now one thing you should notice if you did this correctly that the wingspan does not equal the height as it normally would and when you get up to six seven another thing that you'll notice to know that you got this build right the speed should say 88 down in the physicals but all right now that we have that part knocked out we're gonna go ahead and get to the build that you came for and now that the glitch is done we're actually gonna keep the body settings exactly the same so that's six seven for the height 180 pounds for the weight six six for the wingspan and defined body shape or any body shape you want that is completely up to you. Now for this build, we are going with a crazy offensively overpowered point guard. Now, all right, for the close shot, we're gonna start out with that. We are going to go up to a 50. We're not too worried about the close shot, but we will be putting something on this, on this driving layup, man. We're gonna put this up to an 80. I like to put it kind of high so that I can make layups as well, especially because this is at the point guard position. So you'll have a lot of those smaller guards on you. You don't want them to be able to stop you at the rim. So make sure you got that driving layup up. So, and for the driving dunk, unfortunately we cannot get the elite contacts, but on this build, we do get a gold posterizer by putting the driving dunk up to a 90, man. So go ahead and put that driving dunk up there and let's keep it moving on to the shooting, man. So for the mid range, we're not going crazy high. We will only be going up to an 80, but 80 is more than enough to be able to knock down those middies at a high clip, bro. Middies are super easy to make, especially the standstill ones. If you wanna do the moving joints though, that might be a little bit tougher. If you wanna do that, just make sure you put the, you put difficult shots on. Now for the three point shot, we're going to take that all the way up to a 91. And with the 91, I don't know if you see that over there in the little shooting section, but we do have circus threes on Hall of Fame. So, this build can be a fade god. You don't gotta be like those little point guards to be able to knock down those fades. We're gonna be able to do it with this 6-7 build right here. Now, all right, for the free throw, you already know we're going at least 65, but for this one in particular, we're going with 73. And uh, this is a point guard. But you don't wanna go too low with the playmaking. You don't wanna get stuck in there at the two. Like, you'll be all right at the two. But we want to actually make sure this is at the point guard position, even when playing with randoms. So for the pass accuracy, we're going to take that up to an 85. You're going to need that gold bullet passer if you're going to be the, the main ball handler. Take the ball handle up to an 88. Now the speed with ball, we're going to max that out at an 84. You see we get that gold quick first step, which is the most important badge for this build because we do have a lot of finishing. Now, all right, for the perimeter defense, we're going to do just enough to get gold clamps and gold clamps happens at 85 perimeter defense now for the steal we want gold interceptor you got to make sure you can play the passing lane as well especially with these taller builds 
you want to be able to play the passing lanes very well you can already stay in front of those little guys very easily their dribble moves aren't as effective as long as you don't bite with turbo you'll be all right on this build and for the block we're gonna go with a 58 just enough to get us some of those extra defensive badges to make us a little more viable on defense we don't have a lot of defensive badges on this build but you can always take your extra badges and put them over here now for the physicals you know we got to show out bro we're going 88 with the speed 86 with the acceleration we can go ahead and put the strength up on this build with the vertical we will be going with 75 and then put the rest on stamina man and this comes out as an overly offensive build it's just everything you're gonna need on offense we got 17 finishing 28 shooting 29 playmaking and 14 defense but like i said if you need extra defense just add it to the build man we can go ahead and choose some of these takeovers as i always like to say make sure you pick the takeovers that match your play style we don't get shot grading but you really don't need it to be solid shot grading but we do get slashing sharp shooting playmaking and lockdown take all very good options for an offensively overpowered point guard now personally i'm choosing finishing moves in limitless range because that's how i would like to play this game the most because finishing moves is a super easy takeover to get bro especially if you got accelerator on your build all right let's go ahead and finish up this build it comes out as a two-way three-point playmaker shades of lonzo ball tyrese halliburton and spencer dinwiddie i personally think this is the closest to lamello ball because it's a tall point guard build really good offense good finishing good layups good playmaking and a suspect on defense lonzo not suspect on defense bro but all right we can go ahead and test out the build so i can show you the badges that i would put on this build in order to make it the most useful to me now we're gonna start off with the trifecta the posterizer limitless takeoff and slithery finisher those are badges that are not negotiable you need to have those badges on now let's say the paint is a little clogged you can go with a teardropper me personally i'm gonna go with fearless finisher and for the last one i'm gonna go with mouse in the house because at the point guard position the odds that you will be put against a smaller guard are very high i'm talking astronomically high because you know a lot of people make those you know from five eight to six foot guards you'll be able to eat them alive bro now time for the shooting badges you know it's certain ones that we're just gonna have to put on so we're gonna start out with blinders dead eye we're gonna put on sniper of course hot zone hunter and then the rest are completely up to you like i already put stop and pop on there but my last badge i will definitely be going with circus threes that cost six so i'm gonna drop one on dead eye dead eye is honestly not that important um and then i'm gonna put my last badge on difficult shots those are all the shooting badges you will need if you do want additional shooting badges all you have to do is add those extra badges you got from hitting 40 all year i'm sure you hit it at least a few times and you can put dead eye back up if that's what you want to do now time for the playmaking so for the playmaking on this build you already know it is a point guard build that has crazy dunks so you're gonna need bullet passer and you're gonna need hyper drive everything else is pretty much a personal preference we're gonna put quick first step on there i like them pluckable on silver on my taller builds unless you're getting plugged more than you should that honestly just means you're running too close to the defense and you might want to try creating more space with your dribble moves but we can go ahead and put stop and go on there handles for days for sure i personally love space creator we're gonna put tight handles on bronze and then for the very last badge we're going to put bailout on you can just go crazy with the playmaking badges if you want to you know get more ankle breakers on snapbacks then instead of space creator put it on um angle breaker if you do more standstill dribble moves you like to get the you know you, you just like to get in your bag get them ri rhythm dribbles going then put tight handles on but if you do step backs like me you hit a lot of those step back shots hop back shots space creator is the one for you i honestly get a lot of breaks on it just because i mean the badge is easy to use bro yeah i'm gonna do a step back i'm gonna i'm gonna score all game no all right for the defense we do not have a lot of badges so we're gonna have to be very careful with the badges that we use we only got these three right here this is where i will be using the vast majority of my extra badges i'm gonna put damn they're all of them in here i may put two in shooting like i was talking about earlier to get dead eye a little bit higher but for the rest of them they're going here because there's a few badges that i'm missing that i don't feel comfortable not having for example i want intimidator i want chase down artist and i want rim protector that's only three extra badges 
and I have nine. So, you know, I could put, I could put eight here and then just get more than I bargained for. I can get pick dodger on there. I can get pickpocket on there. I really don't reach a lot on my taller builds or the builds that don't have high steel because you're prone to get called for fouls. And that just really just pisses me off sometimes. So I just go ahead and uh, only put pickpocket on builds with, you know, higher steals. And then pick dodger would definitely be something that would be useful if I didn't already say that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this build, man. I'll catch y'all boys in the next one. It's your boy Don and I'm up out of here. But before you get up out of here, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out some of the other videos on the channel, man. I make bangers, and I'm going to do that all 2K23. But I'll catch y'all boys in the next one. It's your boy Don, and I'm up out of here. Peace. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. They think that I'm stunting, but it's slight to me. Piling paper, got them talking nice to me. Guess that's why the